Hello! It is about 10.30 p.m. Um, on a Thursday night and tomorrow I have my first exam. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about it quite yet. I'm feeling like, like it depends on who I'm talking to, depends on who I'm studying with. Um, but I think I'm also a little bit just too tired to be like really anxious because it's just been wake up, study, go to sleep, wake up, study, go to sleep, wake up, study, go to class, go to sleep. Um, it's been a lot. And I think that that's been a huge part of like, th this is tomorrow marks like, I guess the end of my second week of medical school. I knew, I knew that it was gonna be a lot of information, but what I did it, cause you know the whole analogy of um, medical school is like drinking from a fire hydrant type thing. It's true. Um, the thing is that I didn't think that I was gonna be struggling to find time to study all of this material that they spit at us constantly. Um, so that's really been a struggle and an adjustment that I didn't know that I'd be making. Um, because they have us in classes for like six hours a day sometimes um, between the classes and the labs. And then it's like outside of that, you have to find like two hours per hour you spend in class to study. And I'm just kind of like, there aren't enough hours in a day. There are not enough hours in a day for all of this. So yeah, I'm going into my first exam tomorrow. And the way my school does it is we have like a window of time when we can take this assessment. So it opens tomorrow around 4.30 p.m. and it closes on Monday morning at 8 a.m. I am, right now, at this moment, I'm planning on taking it tomorrow when it opens around like 5 p.m., maybe, I think. Um, spend most of the day studying and then just take it because I don't know if the extra hours I put in on Saturday would actually be worth it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens, but I just kind of want to take it and go have a weekend and take a break and go outside and play basketball or say hi to a puppy or something. I want to do something else because um, I'm tired. Your girl is tired. Yeah. So speaking of being tired, I'm going to go to sleep now so that I can wake up hopefully by like 6 a.m. or something like that, study before my table conference which is in the morning, it's like an anatomy exam where it's a verbal exam where they ask you to identify all the body parts and what veins supply, what nerves um, innervate the muscles and stuff like that. So that's gonna be at 9 a.m. And then at 4.30 p.m. my actual exam will open. And it's probably gonna be like 50 questions. We'll see, we'll talk more tomorrow. I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, so we just got out of our first table conference Woo -hoo. and um, we survived. So there's Brianna, what do you think? It's okay, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to y'all next. What did y'all think? I'm glad it's done. Yeah, glad it's uh, done. it was a bonding experience. It was very much bonding. And you're going to lunch with your group, right? Brunch hey. group. Yes, they say that you get close with your anatomy group. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not, but regardless, first exam is done. So for the verbal exam, what we all did was we stood around our cadaver and the TA took turns asking each one of us questions individually. I ended up having to answer four questions in the span of 30 minutes. And they were just, honestly, they were nice questions about um, what nerve innervates this muscle, um, what is the action of this muscle, because we were focusing mainly on the upper extremities. And with the structures exam out of the way, me, Gabby, and Brianna decided to go get some crepes and get a little bit of time away from campus before we go back to study for the written exam that opens later on that day. After getting some crepes for lunch with some friends, it was a nice little break, but then I got back to my apartment and found out that my whiteboard wall sticker had just arrived in the mail. So luckily I didn't show y'all the process of me setting this up because best believe you don't need to see that, it was ugly. Um, but this is me now studying for the written exam, um, just seeing how the whiteboard works and you know, just writing this diagram that you see on the wall here for like the 50 millionth time that week. For this exam, we were expected to know all of the upper extremities as well as the blood vessels that branch from the heart and then the branches of those branches and the branches of those branches. A little while later, I did make my way back to the classroom where I was able to meet up with some friends and we were able to suffer together in unity as we prepared for the exam. Uh -huh. I have the laptop open. Okay. So this is the day that our first exam opens. Okay. How y'all feeling? Tired. All right, we start with you, Siang. When do you think you're going to take this exam? Saturday. What do you Saturday. think out there? Saturday. 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 <laughs> uh -huh. 
In an hour. In an hour? What are you thinking? Soon. Soon. Okay. What about you? Friday? I don't know, man. I think I'm going to probably take it in like two hours or something. But, um, yeah. Okay, so right after the social club, after I get my free food, I'm going to take this. But, um, y'all are almost 25% done with structures. Congratulations. Out here working hard with the Zoom. All these notes. So I have distanced myself from my buddies and it is time for me to take this exam. It is about 5 p.m. I'm tired, I need a weekend. It's been a long week, so I've got, I don't know how many questions it is, probably somewhere between like 30 and 50 questions and I've got about an hour and a half to do so. Um, yeah, so hopefully nobody like disturbs me while I'm in this room, but I'm about to be free. I'm about to be free. Wish me luck. So I took an hour and 24 minutes out of an hour and 30 minutes and you can probably tell like I'm not that happy. I technically didn't pass, I guess. I don't know yet really. Um, I guess it'll just depend on what the class average is. Um, out of 35 questions, I got 21 right. So that's about a 60% and passing um, is typically a 70% unless the class average is a lot lower. So we'll see. If the class average is really low for this, then I pass, I guess. I don't know. Um, there were a lot of questions that I just did not know the answer to. And I was just kind of like, ah, we talked about it, but do I know it? No. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I guess I'm going to go get like some free sandwich or something, see what my, um, what my friends are up to. I don't know. I'm just really tired. <sighs> we'll get the next one, right? Mm. Okay, so it is the day after um, my exam, and I am in a better headspace. Yes, I am. I am well rested. I got about eight hours of sleep, and I had time to just kind of lick my wounds because I was sad yesterday. I was sad. Um, but then I kind of tried to remember that Is that a bug? Sorry, I thought I saw a bug. But then I just kind of tried to remember that I'm not here to get perfect scores I'm here to learn and did I learn over the last two weeks? You bet I did. Um, so I'm just kind of Relishing in that fact um, I'll get the next one and even if I don't I know that I'll learn a lot in between so it'll be okay All right. Well, I'm off to a casting right now. Hence I'll do deck um, So I gotta get going, but I'll see y'all later Editor Ash here, hello. Uh, we are now in December. It is December 22nd, I believe. So you are talking to a wiser, more seasoned med school Ash. And I just kind of wanted to talk about this video because this video was filmed back in beginning September when I was like a brand new baby medical student. I still kind of am, but just like not as much anymore. Um, but let's talk about failure because it's, I think now is a perfect time to talk about failure. Y'all saw, I did not do well on that first exam. And let me tell you something, it wasn't the first time I ever failed anything. But it also, spoiler alert, was not the last time I ever failed anything. Um, yeah, it's rough. And the more you fail, it doesn't get easier. No, it gets harder when you fail again and again and again. Um, it becomes like soul sucking, demoralizing. Um, just like just just terrible um, but you still have to be able to pick yourself back up at the end of the day and that's something that I've really had to learn to get better at especially here in medical school just being able to um, ground myself after things like that because it's easy to fall into the spiral of like oh I'm not supposed to be here oh my gosh I suck I'm stupid oh my gosh let me go just do something else with my life um, but something that I've definitely had to work on is just like grounding myself after experiences like that. Um, and something that's really helped me, and I thought that I'd just share this just in case anybody else can resonate with this, regardless of where you are in your life right now. Um, just kind of like asking myself, like, why am I here? I'm not here because I got a 97th percentile MCAT score. I'm not here because I got a 4.0 GPA. No, that was, that was never part of my path. Um, I believe that a huge part of why I'm here, and like I, I don't know because I wasn't on the admissions committee, but I do believe that a huge part of why I'm here is because somebody saw in my application that I did well. I think that's a huge part of why I'm here because be despite things that have kind of gotten in my way, I still was able to make it through and I still was able to do well and survive and live to tell the tale, right? Um, I think that's a huge part of why I'm here. So that's something that I try to remind myself of Every time that I fail, I'm just like, listen, 
Even though you can't see it in yourself right now, there are people who saw it in you before you even got here. There are people who still see it in you right now um, that you can do it and you will survive and you will be, you will be great. Um, you can't rely on what other people have been through as like a template for your own path because everybody's path is so different. Some people will tell you, oh, nobody fills that exam. And then you find out yourself, oh, people fail this exam. Some people will tell you, oh yeah, don't worry about studying that. Don't even look at those. And then you realize that that's exactly what shows up on the exam. Um, so it's just a matter of like, yes, listen to other people and be able to take advice, but also make sure that you're putting the most weight in your own experiences and just knowing yourself and like when people will tell you oh don't worry you'll be fine yada 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 if you really think that you're gonna be going down like a down downhill spiral or whatever you know yourself better than anyone else so just putting more weight into you and what you know about yourself before you start listening to what other people tell you um yeah so those are like the two main takeaways that i got from the first semester in medical school i got another video coming soon about like you know my first semester in medical school just kind of like unpacking that a little bit but i didn't want to leave this video on like oh i failed boohoo video over um yeah so this is just a little bit of like words of wisdom from a little bit more wiser ash um, but there will be more to come. So thank you so much for joining me on this. I'm glad that I can actually share these types of experiences with y'all um, because it's, it's really great to be able to be open and like show people like what this whole journey is actually like without sugarcoating it as much. Um, but also I appreciate these videos because I can look back on this years from now and remember, oh crap, I remember when I thought that that was such a big deal, failing this one exam, yada, yada, yada. And look at me now. Even just looking back on it right now, I see like how far I've come since that first week of medical school, basically. And it's just like, I've learned a lot. I've grown a lot. Um, and it's, it really has been quite an experience. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I'll be having some more videos coming to you soon. All right, I'll see you later.